Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a video about this because I'm seeing it happening all the time. When we're kids, we're taught don't bully other people or bullies are only bullying you because they're trying to put you down so they can put themselves up. And we're taught all these kind of things, right? And I'm noticing it a lot as I'm growing older. Now I'm 28 years old and I thought that I would leave bullying back in high school, back in primary school, but it's still happening today and it's really interesting because they're not bullying in the way that you would think. Now Usually bullying is name calling, shoving around, all that kind of stuff. Uh, bullying itself is something very harmful to others. The dictionary definition of bullying is use superior strength or influence to intimidate somebody or typically to force them to do something. Okay, so that's the definition of bullying right there. Now. If you look in media today, if you look online, there's YouTubers, there's Facebook statuses, there's all of this stuff going on. Now, I'm noticing this huge, massive trend called rape culture. Now, rape culture is essentially where people are telling men, don't be like this because this happens in society, basically. They're basically saying um, things that happen to women are trivialized when the same things happen to men, they tend to be taken more seriously. And in some cases, yes, this can be true. In other cases, not as much as you would think. Now, there's situations out there where women are putting down men for being men for actions of other men who are criminals and they're putting they're basically bullying men under the guise of rape culture to be able to push the men down a level so they can step upon them and get up a level and that's a big problem because not only is it it's bullying, but it's basically creating a historical pattern where one gender is superior to the other gender, and that's not what we want at all. Like, yes, there are certain cases, like medical cases where, like medical science, where both genders have to be taken into account separately, and then there are certain cases where you're like, makeup, who cares who the fuck wears it? And so basically rape culture is getting, being used as a disguise to bully men into this tiny little box. So in today's society, okay, yes men are being more accepted by wearing makeup, however people are still telling men that they shouldn't be wearing makeup, that pink is a girly colour. Uh, my nephew, he's the love grabbing my Barbies and playing with them, but now he's like, no, they're girls toys. And we've still got that stuff going on, right? And then on the other side, you have a whole heap of women telling men, you guys are responsible for rape. You guys are responsible for assault. You guys are responsible for all these things out there that are happening because some guy did it who shares a gender with you. Now, to me, that's not equality. That's shoving guys into a tiny box, telling them what they are, and then you guys are wondering why these things keep happening. And it's like, if you guys keep shoving guys into a box, telling them what they are, telling them that they are this evil monster of a thing, then of course there's going to be more things that happen. However, men are not responsible for the work of evil. People who 
rape and assault people and all that kind of stuff that's not a gender issue at all it's all about like mentality it could be like mental health it could be anything that is a different variable but please stop blaming genders for it because it's not helpful it's just harming society creating a bigger divide than what we already have anyway i just thought that i would speak about that because i feel like men are getting bullied and shoved into this tiny little description and i don't like how men are being treated these days okay bye